A tornado took one home, a fire destroyed another. Now, after living in a one-bedroom, one-bathroom home in Wakefield since then, the eight members of the Jimenez Nunez family are getting a little help to improve their living situation through several church groups, including First Mennonite Church of Newton, Kansas. The church first heard about the family situation through Mennonite Disaster Service. The organization spent about a year and a half in Pilger cleaning up and rebuilding homes after the 2014 tornadoes. And it came across a Nunez family who had not had any help. Um, they've kind of fallen through the cracks. Uh, they lived in a mobile home about three miles outside of town that took a direct hit. And they were in, actually in the process of buying that, but they were buying it on contract. And so one stipulation for it to receive aid was you either had to have a mortgage or own your home. And so they were automatically disqualified. They moved actually to a house where the new one is being built now. And it uh, had an electric fire about six, eight months later. So the First Mennonite Church, along with the Wakefield Ministerium and several other churches from Newton, including Faith Mennonite Church, Grace Hill Mennonite Church, and the New Creation Fellowship, as well as two lumber yards, have partnered with the Jimenez Nunez family to help them move into a more suitable home. We framed it up in our parking lot, and then we brought it here in the truck, and now we're just setting the walls uh, up. That, so we ha had 150 volunteers that helped three nights in our parking lot. Um, and we'll have probably a total of 90 out here for the next seven weeks. So. The home's dedication is set for around August 13th. When we do something outside of ourselves, there's good energy. When it brings us together and we're focused on helping others. So it, it, it's good to our, for our congregation because helping others becomes the focus instead of trying to just do our own thing. Reporting with Aaron Bell and Jake Roggy for Norfolk Daily News, I'm Katherine Harris.